episode 168, Pain Will Leave Once It's Done Teaching You. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilsen. And there we are. <laughs> it's the middle of the fucking week hump day, folks. Uh, only two days to go for uh, those lazy folks of you who are you know, working their ass off during the week to enjoy their weekend when, you know, you could be doing so many fun things on the weekend. Anyhow, welcome <laughs> to the very best podcast in the world. Your only source in the motherfucking universe for uh, personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Jesus, almost lost my line there. Um, this episode, uh, and we're doing kind of like a combo with the housekeeping thing. This episode is going to resonate with everyone and their dog. So uh, there is no lame excuse not to share this episode with folks who, uh, you know, are experiencing pain right now or have been experiencing pain in the recent past or in the distant past or in the midterm past or whatever um, because today's episode is going to be uh, about you know how pain teaches you lessons and um, I'm not necessarily uh, talking about physical pain you know like <laughs> if you <laughs> this stupid example if you burn your burn your hand on on the boilerplate you're probably you know you're pre pretty much of a fucking idiot if you're ever going to touch it again while it's hot right uh, so you're going to test <laughs> you're going to uh, pain has taught you uh, an invaluable lesson right and um, that being said, you know, that's not necessarily what this episode is about, despite the fact that it may be the first example that really comes to your mind when you hear the title, right? Uh, this episode uh, is more going to be about uh, mental pain. And mental pain comes in all different 31 Baskin Robbins flavors. Was it 31? I think so. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, um, and more <laughs> and the ice cream flavors you don't want so um you know if i can kind of set you back in time when you know you had uh, your last breakup for instance you know uh, pain in this sense is you know very it's a very deep emotional pain right because you were attached to that person you know you uh, kind of came together for a reason and then something in the, you know, big, huge, hard, very difficult, if at all graspable universe fucked up, uh, you know, and it's very difficult to kind of comprehend. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, yeah, you know, bitch was, <laughs> you know, bitch was over, you know, and got a new bitch. Yeah, you know, you can play Mr. Tough Guy, but, you know, I think there's uh, very few actual sociopaths out there uh, who can, you know, say with, you know, without lying that they, you know, didn't at least feel a little bit of remorse that, you know, someone that you were so attached to, that you were so intertwined with, you know, that you were so emotionally bound to and trusted all of a sudden isn't there anymore you know you cannot uh, go to that person for you know to exchange your uh, your feelings or you know you can't go to that person to um, talk about you know people that you may have been engaged with together you know like mutual friends that kind of thing starts to subside because usually after breakups people start to talk shit you know <laughs> and that kind of makes things insanely difficult um to keep the same circle of friends right uh but that being said you know um what's the lesson here right what has this pain
pain taught you? And a lot of people in particularly, you know, if we're talking about breakups, um, they don't take the time to really, particularly not guys, you know, it's, they, they go out on the prowl, you know, the moment it's over, <laughs> crash at a friend's house, uh, you know, get a few brewskis, uh, and then go out prowling. Well, not necessarily, but you know, they want to get laid right? <laughs> because that's for them the number one thing to kind of get over it. And there's two mistakes in this example. Number one, getting yourself hammered because then you're going to not face the pain. And you are not going to learn your fucking lesson of what actually went wrong. You know, these moments of breakup are, uh, you know, insanely, insanely emotional and difficult to handle, right? So you're, you know, the, that moment you even start to think about getting hammered and getting that out of your head, you're kind of being a chicken ass and running away, uh, chicken shit and running away from the situation. And that's wrong <laughs> on so many levels it's like you know you want you may want to consider being for yourself you know in these uh you know emotional words that were said you know that take a lot of courage to say you know hey listen this and that went wrong can't imagine you know that this is gonna get right anytime soon uh i'm out and um reflecting on that is insanely difficult because we immediately go into this berserk mode, you know, us guys, you know, the, us guys in particular, like getting hammered, you know, you, uh, girls, you probably, I don't know what you actually do, but a lot of times from what I've heard, you know, you go to your favorite girlfriend's house, cry your eyes out about what a bastard the dude was, but maybe it was you, you know, maybe it was the both of you that kind of fucked up. But the immediate thing, uh, the immediate reaction is actually to distance yourself from what just happened, to run away from it as fast as you can, to forget instead of reflecting. And I think that's, um, you know, one of the most important uh, things that have to be done in such a situation, you know, or think of a situation where, you know, you're... Um, or you know are, are you uh, comfortable thinking about your your latest loss you know um is it the death of a loved one or someone that was very close to you right that's another very important feeling of pain right because the loss is it is acceptable right but what it does i think is instill in you this or remind you that you are not immortal right and it reminds us every single time that people start dying <laughs> it's like this increase in frequency the older you get the more people start to die <laughs> it's just the nature of things right but uh, i think it's this humbling moment at least for me it was uh, it was this humbling moment of m reminding me that I am mortal, right? And that the time that I have on this earth, you know, is insanely precious. And I shouldn't be wasting it with, you know, doing stupid shit, <laughs> whatever that may be for you. But, you know, I catch myself a lot of times doing stupid shit. It feels good at the time, you know, it gives you kind of like this dopamine hit. But then, you know, it's like getting off the needle. It's like, God damn it. You know, I was so fucking stupid to have wasted this, these three hours on YouTube watching cat videos, <laughs> uh, you know, but sometimes, yeah, you know, it's justified. Sometimes you need to fry your brain, uh, you know, in order to have a, a, a delicious meal, right? Um, you need to, you need that smell of, you know, fried brain to really, whet your appetite for new ideas and new challenges and everything. I've been there, you know, just thinking about that the other day uh, was, you know, I would take off times between projects because I just needed to reformat everything, you know, because I was just so fucking stressed out. So for two, three months, 
if somebody would call me up and say, hey, look, we got this major problem. I was thinking, <laughs> good luck finding someone. You know, I'm out. I'm not available. Sorry. And uh, we're going to pay you triple of what you want. No, <laughs> sorry. Money is not the issue here. It's myself. You know, and that's a very important point to make. But getting back to this example, right? Um, I think, you know, one of the things is, of course, the loss itself. And it's insanely difficult to describe, you know, why you're sad. Because technically, you know, you could be reliving, right? Because that's what brains are there for, right? They, they give you this beautiful access to uh, getting yourself back to these very precious moments with that person you just lost, right? You know, it's like my, my grandmother, who I was very close to. I will always, always, always have her in the funniest moments, but also the, you know, most emotional moments. And, you know, and I will always have and cherish these memories, despite the fact that, you know, this was pre-iCloud and I, uh, you know, don't have a lot of photographs of her. But these memories are there forever. <laughs> and it's about kind of, uh, getting those up in front instead of the actual loss, right? Instead, and, and you know, making your pain um, go away uh, in, in, in that sense, you know, or, you know, maybe there was a stupid fucking situation, you know, in which you were shamed by someone, right? Um, that's, you know, another one of these things, which is insanely painful, right? But it's going to teach you a valuable lesson of whom you can trust with uh, delicate information about yourself, right? You know, perhaps you shouldn't trust anyone, but that's a very fucking sick life. You know, if you are this constantly distrustful person, you know, go back to the gut episode, right? There's a beautiful episode uh, I made about the gut and why it's so important to listen to it. It's a very important indicator and you should really learn to train your second brain as it's called. Anyhow, uh, I think, you know, it's all about pain and accepting it, right? The mental pain, right? And, and the emotional pain, accepting it for what it is, you know, and then being able to actually learn from it. And the faster you learn to deal with it, the faster it's going to be done teaching you and the faster it's going to subside. So, uh, again, you know, I think this episode should resonate. If any other episode didn't, this one, uh, is, should, uh, resonate with 99.9 .9 infinity percent of society. So in that, in that case, I would urge you to, uh, share this episode, uh, with anyone to understand uh, to anyone and their dog, by the way, uh, because dogs feel pain too, um, you know, and uh, get them to listen to it, to understand this uh, emotional pain and how to deal with it quicker uh, so that it'll go away and you can actually focus on what's truly important. You know, it's to cherish uh, the time that you had with the person, the good times, uh, you know, and to bring them in the foreground and then uh, move on with your life so that the pain goes away more quickly. In that sense, uh, have a nice hump day because it is that. <laughs> and uh, if you've already had your hump day and it was good and successful, um, have a good night and we'll be in touch tomorrow. We're going to talk about the mind and uh, very interesting experiences along the journey of your life. Stay safe and peace out.